Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. My name is Muhammad Rehan and I'm your presenter for today's session. I am representing AXPULSE Consulting. At AXPULSE, we believe in delivering quality focus services. Over the past years, we have delivered excellence and built our core expertise around Microsoft Dynamics AX and CRM implementations as well as mapping clients' industry-specific requirements and coming up with tailored customizations. The product I'm demonstrating today is the loan management application. The application can assist users as employees are giving an easy and flexible approach towards loan request submission, and the employer is able to track the loan request through various stages of validation process. I will now straight away move on to the demonstration and hopefully will be able to explain the various steps required for configuring this customization. I will be working in Contoso environment and assume that workers have correctly been set up with appropriate pay periods and earning codes attached. The first thing that the employer needs to do is to create benefit elements which are located in human resource module under setup. <clears throat> benefit types, here I'm using cash loan with payroll category set to standard. Benefit plans shall be created. Various benefit plans can be created with payroll. Currently I'll be using car financing with payroll impact set to deductions. Legal entity shall be defined in the accounting tab with the main account set to an expense account. The last part is the benefit options, which is the level of coverage. Later, I'll be using participate. Subsequently, the employer will need to create an active benefit enrollment period and enroll employees into the benefit scheme. Here I've already enrolled a few workers for demonstration purpose. I'll be using Henry later on. The interface for the loan management application is placed in human resource module under setup. <coughs> Excuse me. The first part is to create loan types. I've already created cash loans. Second part is to create loan items. Under the car financing, I'll have to define the person in charge. The loan type created earlier as cash loan shall be assigned here and the benefit loan benefit created shall be attached here. The employer can also predefine a set of payment schedules. For example, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, depending on the situation. Now the next part is how the employee can submit the loan request. The employee can submit the loan request either through main client, employee portal, or the AXPULSE mobile application. Here I'll be using the main client as the source of submitting the request. In the action tab, I can see personal information. I'll have to click on to loans, select the loan type I created earlier. The grant date, say 1st of July, the loan amount, for the example, I'll take as 20,000. Plan written, I'll take 31st of October. Then I'll have to submit the loan request by pressing the submit button. How this application works is that all the loan requests are forwarded to an authorized approver. The role is assigned. Here I'll use another user to sign in to Dynamics AX. I'll move on to the company. Go into workers. Here I can see the loan request is in review. 
the authorized approver will have a few options at disposal for example approve reject request change or delegate it to another official or oh, now i'll approve it once i go back i can see the loan request has been approved i will later need to assign a payment schedule for this example i'll take 5000 <clears throat> here you can see four installments of four, 5000 have been generated with the first installment being in july and the last one being in october i'll show you how this schedule will be updated by generating a pay statement i will have to move on to the payroll module i will generate an earning statement for the employee for the month of july 2017 I'll have to release the earning statement. All right. Here in the pay statement under the benefit calculations, you can see a 5,000 deduction has been made. The gross pay was 10,000, deduction 5,000, and the net pay sums up to 5,000. In the financials, I can see the main accounts being used. I'll post the entry. <clears throat> Once the entry is posted, this automatically reflects on the payment schedule. The first installment has been paid. Once all the installments have been paid, paid, the actual return date will be a uh, system generated and this field will automatically be populated. Alright, this pretty much sums up the demonstration. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our channel to view continuous updates and feel free to consult us through the links being shown. Our experienced consultants will be able to effectively understand your business requirements and hopefully actively will demonstrate how the customizations can help you save time and efforts in daily operations. Goodbye from my side and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.